Hi, this is Mr. Adams from Midwood High School, and uh, this is a video presentation on periodic trends. Um, we're having a test on Wednesday on the topics of periodic table and bonding. So once again, um, I hope this video will be a uh, help. All right, the trends we'll be looking at will be ionization energy, electronegativity, metallic character, and atomic radius. Okay. Now, before we get into the trends, we have to look at um, an important factor that affects those trends, and that is called Coulombic attraction. Now, we normally say just attraction for short, but it's normally the official name is Coulombic attraction. Now, it has two simple rules that go with it. If you have more charge, okay, your attraction will increase. Okay, simply put, if I have more positives, okay and I have more negatives the attraction between them will be stronger and there will be a stronger pull together now before I move on remember the traction we keep talking about in terms of the structure of the atom is in relation to the protons and the nucleus and the valence electrons okay so we must remember that protons and nucleus and the valence electrons also guys in Coulombic attraction it also says that if we increase the distance, we will weaken the attraction, okay? So simply put, if I increase the distance between these particles right here, okay, the attraction between them, okay, will get weaker. Alrighty. Now, ionization energy by definition is the energy needed to simply remove an electron of the valence shell of an atom okay so for example we have an electron a valence electron right here if you wanted to remove it depending on the attraction and other factors in the atom it probably will come off very easily or it will take a lot of energy to remove it so ionization energy is the energy needed to remove a valence electron from an atom okay nice simple definition but important okay so we move on electronegativity okay the classic analogy that's given is tug of war okay simply the measure of how much an atom attracts electrons towards itself in a chemical bond for example we have HF over here the HF molecule over here H and F. F has seven valence electrons, a halogen. Hydrogen has only one electron. Now what happens here, if you look on table S, as always have your reference tables out, F has an electronegativity of 4.0, the highest on your table. Okay, it has a strong pull in this direction. So this funny irregular shape over here, okay, that represents the electron cloud. So this electron right here, this X of this valence electron of, of hydrogen is being pulled strongly towards this direction. Hydrogen also has a pull. Okay, he's approximately 2.1, 2.2 around that, I can't really remember. Okay, he's pulled to the opposite direction. He's pulling in the opposite direction, but F is pulling much more strongly in this direction. Okay, so that's a, a quick analogy of um, electronegativity at work. Now, on the other side of it, we have chlorine here, okay? Both of these guys have seven valence electrons, okay? Well, they're, all, they're halogens, okay? Now, he has a pull of approximately around 3.2, okay? Now, the electronegativities will be the same, okay? They're pulling in opposite directions with the same electronegativity, so you know, it's notice that the cloud is nice and evenly distributed, but over here, with HF, there's not an even distribution of the cloud. Now that's gonna be a factor that we'll talk about later on in another video, but that's electronegativity at work. So electronegativity is a measure of how much an atom, okay, attracts electrons to itself in a chemical bond all right and normally it's a covalent bond so we're moving on 
metallic character. Simply put, it's the ability of an atom to behave like a metal in relation to loss of electrons. Okay, now why they say an atom, right? Because you can be asked, folks, you can be asked, for example, in terms of group 17, the halogens, which one has the highest or lowest metallic character? And you may say, how come? Because they're all non-metals, right? But essentially what happens is if you can determine which one would lose electrons more easily, that guy would have the highest metallic character. So we're going to look at that in a few seconds. Okay, um, we have atomic radius over here. Now, atomic radius definition is simply half the distance between these two centers right here. Okay, or simply put, you can think of atomic radius as referring to the size of the atom. Now, atomic radius is real simple in terms of the trends. It's like one of the most obvious ones, so we won't spend much time on that, but We'll, we'll look at it in the further slides. Okay. Now, going down a group, okay, as I have over here. All right, these guys, lithium, sodium, potassium, these guys from group one going down a group. We notice right off the bat that they are getting larger. So we can assume, and it's pretty evident, that our atomic radius will increase, right? Okay, now we have to analyze the other guys, ionization energy, electronegativity, and so on. Now, we're going down the group, we ask, was there, what is there an increase of? We have an increase of protons, we have an increase of electrons. We're not really interested in neutrons because they don't have no charge, so we're interested in, in things that give us attraction. We also have an increase of principal energy levels. PELs. So we must, must, must take that into consideration. So initially we can say, okay, since we have more protons, we have more electrons, that's going to give us more attraction. So attraction will increase, right? But we must take this factor into consideration, folks. The fact that we have more principal energy levels leads to something that we discussed in class. For example, if we compare lithium, okay, with two principal energy levels to something like potassium, who has one, two, three, four principal energy levels. Okay, lithium is two, one. Potassium is two, eight, eight, one. Okay, what happens? These extra principal energy levels now cause increased distance. All right, now what does increased distance do to attraction? If we forgot, let's flip back real quickly. Okay. Increased distance weakens or lessens attraction. All right, so that's one factor we have there, increased distance, lessening attraction as we go down a group. Now, in addition to the increased principal energy levels and increased distance, okay, we have a shielding or blocking of attraction between the protons in the nucleus and the valence electrons caused by these guys right here. The extra principal energy levels, the electrons in them, block this attraction of the protons in the nucleus and the valence electrons. So we have two factors, increased distance and something called the shielding effect, okay, caused by these extra principal energy levels, weakening attraction. So what happens, folks, as you go down a particular group, okay, your attraction gets weaker okay lessons okay so in terms of you now coming along uh, for example wanting to take off a valence electron off rubidium who has weaker attraction than the guys above him okay the ionization energy will get lower as you go down a group likewise weakened attraction causes your electronegativity your ability to attract things towards yourself to also decrease now for metallic character, okay, since it's easier for you to take off an electron off the guys that are lower in the group, the metallic character will increase, okay? Now, the atomic radius, as we saw before, if you look at it carefully, these guys are getting progressively bigger because it's more and more principal energy levels, your atomic radius will increase.
okay so those are the trends as you go down a group so don't forget as you go down a group to take into consideration more principal energy levels increased distance and the shielding effect okay so attraction gets weakened all right we're moving on to across a period now i'm looking at period two over here all right with lithium beryllium and all those other guys okay and period two simply means you have two principal energy levels okay as you go across and all the guys so all the guys right across this way have two principal energy levels for example we have lithium with two principal energy levels we have beryllium with two principal energy levels we have boron with two and so on we have all those guys with two principal energy levels now what happens with that is very important because we're going to ask a question what happens to traction as you go across so you see these cells okay good i notice that i have more protons i have more electrons but wait a minute um is my are my principal energy levels increasing okay no they're not okay because we have two 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 right so what's going to happen is increased distance will not be a factor and based on that since my principal energy levels are not increasing shielding the shielding effect will not be a factor so all that's left guys is the increased protons and increase electrons okay now if you have more protons more electrons okay your attraction will increase as we said before in the first uh, point with coulombic attraction your attraction goes up if you have more protons and more electrons and these guys are taken out of the equation okay so with an increase in attraction you want to come along now you want to pull off an electron off the valence shell it will hold on to it more strongly your ionization energy will increase okay if you have more traction more protons okay you are able now to pull electrons more closer to you your electronegativity will also increase okay now with more protons folks okay you're holding on to your electrons more strongly as you go from left to right okay you will not lose electrons more easy so the guys as we get progressively on this side they're holding on to the electrons more the metallic character okay or the ability to lose electrons decreases and if you notice in this picture over here okay the size of the atom the atomic radius gets smaller because there's more traction okay there's more charge and they're pulling the valence shell gets pulled more closely into the nucleus so the atomic radius will decrease okay so once again let's recap real quick our ionization energy okay as we go down a group decreases why is that because of two factors of increased distance and the shielding effect that weakens attraction okay the metallic character goes up why is that because it's now easier for you now to take away um, electrons as the attraction gets weaker and since we have more principal energy levels the size of the atom gets larger all right and in terms of across a period we do not take into consideration shielding we don't take into consideration um, increased distance why because we have the same number of principal energy levels okay now based on that once again our traction okay now is left uninhibited the ionization energy will go up it'll be harder for you to pull off an electron it's the atom now has the ability to attract more electrons towards itself as you go from left to right okay it's harder for you to take off an electron so metallic character goes down and since there's a stronger traction there's more contracting more shrinking of the atom as the valence electrons get pulled close to the nucleus the atomic radius will decrease okay um as always hard work and sacrifice equals success i hope this video was a help to you and um please study please study please study that beats anything else and i'll see you guys soon all right take care